This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play One Whole Day by Dixie D'Amelio. So here we go, give you a preview of the chorus section that you can learn. It goes like this, give you a preview. And you repeat. Etc. But anyway, so let's get into the melody and block chords, teach you how that works, because that's the foundation of a song, and afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version and just give your own personal flair. Alright, so let's get right into it. So right hand starts on the D, okay? So we'll break it up to parts that's easier to learn. So the first part, middle C, go up an octave C, is the D right here. Goes D, F, D, up to B flat A, and then two Fs. And then five G's, one, two, three, four, five F E F D. That's it for the first part. All right, let's learn it again. So it goes D F D up to B flat A, two F's, five G's, one, two, three, four, five F E F D. And that's it for the first part. All right, once you get the right hand first part, left hand, very important. We have four chords in this particular order. Remember these four chords because every single part are these four chords, okay? So there are four parts of this lesson and every single part is these four chords. So the four chords are B flat major, which is B flat D, F. Second chord is F major, which is F, A, C. And then the third chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. And then, actually no, sorry, my bad. So third chord is C major, C, E, G. Then the fourth chord is D minor. Okay, so the four chords one more time is B flat major, B flat D, F, and then F major, which is F, A, C. Third chord is C major, which is C, E, G, and fourth chord D minor. So play these four chords a few times to remember in this particular order. So B flat major, F major, C major, D minor. Play it a few times, get it under your fingers, because every single part are these four chords in this particular order. But anyway, two hands together for this first part goes like this. So right hand starts, D and B flat major to get up, A and F major to get up. G and C major together, E and D minor together. And that's it for the first part, alright? Let's learn it again, Skos. Together, 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 together. Moving on, the second part, right hand continues like this, okay? So it goes D, F, D, D, B flat, A, F, G, 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 F, E, F, D that's it for the right hand all right so that's the right hand for this second part all right one more time so it goes d f d d b flat a f g g g g g f e f d that's it for the right hand all right so once you get the right hand there left hand we have the same four chords as you taught in the uh, first half of the lesson which is b flat major f major c major and d minor so you know those few chords ready two hands together goes like this the right hand starts d and b flat major together a and f major together g and c major together d and d minor together that's it all right let's learn it again it goes together 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 all right and that's it for the second part Okay, so really similar to the first part, just a, just a few notes that is a tiny bit different on the right hand. Okay, but anyway, moving on. Actually, before we do that, back to back, the two parts of blunt so far will be played like this, so you can see the similarities and differences. Check it out. All right, now moving on to the third part. Right hand goes... Uh, really simple it's like this five note pattern play for four times it goes f f g g g second time third time fourth time okay 
Okay, so very simple. Just five notes played four times. Whilst the left hand is the same four chord pattern that you learned already, B flat major, F major, C major, D minor, that you know of already. So with that in mind, turns together goes like this, really simple, is after every three, the third note in the five note pattern is where you play the chord like this. Here. 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 Like that. That is the third part. Simple. So every uh, after the third note in the five note pattern is where you play the chord, just remember that. Yeah. 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 And that's it for this fourth part. All right. Now, moving on to the last part. Okay. So fourth part, Ryan goes two Fs, five Gs, one, two, three, four, five, F, E, F, C. And then C up to B flat, A, F, G, F. That's it for the fourth part. One more time. It goes F, F, G, 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 F, E, F, C. C up to B flat, A. And then F, G, F. That's it for the right hand. All right, one more time. It goes F, F, G, 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 F, E, F, C. C, B flat, A, F, G, F. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, same four chords. You know, B flat major, F major, C major, and D minor. So you know those four chords already. Two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts. G and B flat major together. C and F major together. And continues. A and C major together. F and D minor together. Just like that. One more time it goes together. 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 Yeah. And that's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. That's it. So once you get the melody and block chords version all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make it more interesting. Okay, left hand you can do like octave, arpeggios. You can do rhythmic patterns. I like to do like a pass chord there, by passing bass note to the D, to C, C sharp D. Okay, so you can do that. Right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chord to make it more thicker and texture. So you're going to do something like this, or, in, or together, like this. Yeah, you can play around with it, okay? Have fun. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more Dixie D'Amelio songs, just search up her name, followed by Amos Dot on the YouTube search, and learn the other songs I have on this channel for you to learn. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.